Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Luke. I know it's early, but I want a beer. What kind? Well, I guess if I had my choice. Oh, I know. When I went out for lunch the other day for my birthday. Yeah. Blue Moon Draft. Oh, my gosh. That is so delicious. Blue Moon's pretty decent. I'll give you that. And then I thought to myself, I should compile a list of things most people should know before they drink a Blue Moon beer. I think that's reaching out to the American public. Good I'm job. going to do that next on Men Are So Smart. Because you're, <laughs> you're a giver. Oh, I'm a giver. <laughs>to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Even people who aren't beer drinkers can get on board with Blue Moon. Who can say no to an effervescent Belgian-style brew served with a juicy orange slice? But that's not to say that the beer can't stand up to other big names in the business. The brand has opened some way cool breweries and tasting rooms made a name for itself around the world, and consistently experiments with new flavors and ingredients. So, here come some fun facts to know about the Belgian white beer, Blue Moon. So here's one that I thought was crazy. Uh, it's been over 20 years since they've been around. Oh, wow. Started in 1995, uh, a guy named Keith Villa, or maybe it's Via, uh, Brewers started churning out beers at the 2,700 square foot Sandlot Brewery in Denver, Colorado. I think I've heard of that. Villa would later become known as the brand's founder and head brewmaster. Interesting. 95, who knew? The Sandlot Brewery was the first ever brewery housed inside a major league ballpark. That's cool. So it makes sense that the beers on tap were named after the game played there. Slugger Stout. Right Field Red, uh, they both went over well, but Belly Slide Wit <laughs> was the hit that changed everything. How about you're killing me small? <laughs> <laughs> the Sandlot still makes 1,500 barrels of beer per year to serve during Colorado Rockies home games. Oh, nice. Uh, next, there's a reason it's served with an orange. Tell me, please. Blue Moon's uh, founder, Keith Villa, knew exactly what he was doing when he started whipping up uh, creative beers at the Sandlot. In fact, he got his PhD in brewing in Belgium, uh -huh. where foreign combinations of ingredients inspired his recipe, consisting of malted barley, white wheat, Valencia orange peel, uh, coriander, and oats. When he saw the European bartender serving beer with lemon wedges, it struck him that fresh orange slices would complement his Belgian-style perfectly. I'll bet you didn't know that Blue Moon is constantly creating new varieties of beer. The offerings go way beyond the Belgian white that we all know and love. Thanks to a pilot brewing system, customers have their pick of more than 20 rotating taps year-round, including kicked-up creations like iced coffee blonde and chile golden ale. Ooh, nice. Uh, there is more than one brewery location. Nine million barrels of beer came out of the massive Miller Coors Brewery site in Golden, Colorado every year. But Blue Moon has a dedicated location in the Rhino District of Denver. The tasting room then serves pours of an ever-changing variety of beers, all while tracking sales to test them for success. There's also a Blue Moon Tap House located in Norfolk, Virginia. What's really cool is you can take this tour for free. Thanks to the Rhino Brewery's walkthrough tour, visitors can peek behind the scenes and check out the equipment that staffers like resident brewmaster John Legnard use to churn out around one new beer each week. Holy cow. That's a lot of R&D. That's crazy. And you can even get in on some beer and food pairings. The Rhino Brewery has full-service restaurant Ooh. with menu items meant to be eaten with Blue Moon beers. Mm. Oh, that's a good play. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes the beer itself even makes it into the recipes. Uh, according to Daniel Imidiki, the goal of beer pairing is to select a beer that will complement the food, provide contrast to the flavor profile, and cleanse the palate. The brand was the only beer sponsor at last year's Food & Wine Classic in Aspen, where pints 
were poured alongside dishes from the country's best chefs and culinary experts, and they're expanding. Ooh, yeah, it's coming to Las Vegas. Cool. Yeah, if you're heading to Strip in Las Vegas, going out to search for a bar with Blue Moon on tap, Planet Hollywood Resort will be home to Blue Moon Bar, where Belgian white will never be in short supply. Customers will also get a chance to sip seasonal beer-based cocktails. That's interesting. Yeah. At a the dedicated watering hole. Ronnie, Blue Moon Beer is by far one of my favorites. Um, I know I don't have a real eclectic palate when it comes to beer. My beer of choice just to have around the house is just Miller Genuine Draft. And I've been drinking that since old Rusty Wallace was driving the number two <laughs> Miller Genuine car. Yes. I've got his hat over there. I love the color of the car. It was black and gold, and I thought, I'll try that beer. That's cool. And it's like 30 years later, I'm still drinking it. <laughs> However, there are roughly two beers that if I see at a restaurant or bar, uh, I will go for uh, every time. Okay. Number one, I love a good Samuel Adams. Oh, uh, yeah. I do not like the seasonal beers that they make. They may be great for some people, and that's fine. But just please give me the Boston Lager. Yeah, okay. okay? Uh, when you have that beer in your fridge at the perfect temperature, it pours down like silk. Mm. It's so delicious cold. Now, on the other hand, the other beer that I will enjoy any time draft is Blue Moon. Okay. Um... I think they have it at Stingray's Marina. I'm pretty sure, um, but I know that they have that beer that you like on draft, 805. 805. Boy, that was really, that was so good. That was really, really good. And I'm not a gigantic beer drinker. I have I have some favorites. I like Shock Top and uh, the one that is not like beer at all. It's uh this is not your father's root beer. Oh yeah, we discussed that. Yeah, one. which is very unbeer like, mm -hmm. but I I like it. But I mean, I've had. Have you ever been to a Gordon beer store? No. Uh, I'm not even sure if they have one locally. I've been to the one in uh, Burbank, California, and it's a brewery. It's a restaurant built around a brewery type of a thing, and they usually have three beers that they're featuring at any particular time. All three of them are wonderful. They they do a really nice job with their beers. Um, they're kind of pricey. It's nine bucks for a beer, but you know, whatever. But for the most part, yeah, I'm just not a gigantic beer drinker. Mm, it's okay. I there's nothing more refreshing to me than ice cold water. Ah, with eight percent. <laughs> <laughs> I think they make that, do they? With a splash of vodka. You know, on a, on a side note, I had some smart water the other day. Yeah. It didn't work. Yeah. I didn't feel any smarter. My And my wife drinks, she she says water gives her indigestion, which, I don't know, maybe. So she always puts a squirt of, I think it's called Mio, M-I-O, and it just, it flavors your water. And, oh. Yeah, she says that does it for her. Whatever, I've tried it. All right, well, I am really thirsty for a blue moon, and there are probably 15 places where I could stop on my way home. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'm going to the store, though. <laughs> well, not me personally. You know, I don't do that. Right. But someone <laughs> from my camp. <laughs> By the end of the day, there's going to be some beer in your fridge. It's going to be blue moon. Yeah. Well, will be yeah. draft, but we'll still have blue moon. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks for watching today. Yeah. We appreciate it. I uh, hope you enjoy a good, cold, ice-cold beer soon. If you get a choice, chance to uh, check out Blue Moon. Or as I mentioned, that Sam Adams is very good, too. 805. Uh, he's a big supporter. I'm not even sure if that's available outside of California, though, is it? Soon to be. Maybe. We'll know. I All right. Know. Any information that you'd like, any more, you'll find uh, below in our description. You can subscribe to our channel there, and we would greatly appreciate that. Our website is menaresosmart.com. I have some exciting things that are about to happen there as well. Uh, you can also see our videos there, too. Uh, that's going to do it. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. See you next time. I'm Men Are So Smart.